silly as fuck. How do I turn this? Welcome, Gemini, to your reading. This is a general reading for September 2017. Let's get into it. Um, for for y'all's reading, um, I'm I'm definitely getting a sense of stress, anxiety, um, stress and anxiety, <laughs> and both a sort of a shutting down on the one hand and also a lashing out on the other hand caused by that anxiety, right? Um, there's sort of a sense of sense of the way things should be and and um, the way they ought to be and and an awareness that they're not that way, I guess I should say. Um, or that they don't seem that way, right? And a, and a stress stressor because of that and, and a lot of pressure um, because of that. And like I said, then also a sense of, of lashing out and of um, shutting down and becoming becoming kind of apathetic and um, and um, paralyzed almost, right? Paralyzed by fear kind of deal. Um, and then a and then a, a sort of an anger aggression kind of kind of response when 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 something a response is required of you right it's like oh I can't I can't respond um, I'm paralyzed right afraid paralyzed can't respond can't respond things are requiring a response and then all of a sudden the response that that you're able to give is is very kind of irrational and and um, atta attacking of, of kind of a sort of thing. Um, yeah, and it's all, it's all just kind of caused by this, like, stress of, of pressure being put on. And a, and a sense of um, perfection, a sense for what, what is perfect and what is, what is not perfect in the moment, but what, what should be perfect. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to pick these up and put some more cards down and um, come back for, for you with some advice. Come back with some advice for you. Yeah, okay. Be right back. Okay, Gemini. Um, the advice that I'm getting for you is really rather interesting. <laughs> um, the, the top cards that you're seeing here are related to, or related to, they're, they're, yeah, they're related to the advice that, um, they are the advice. Holy moly, they are the advice <laughs> that, that uh, the cards recommend, right? The bottom row is the advice they don't recommend, if that makes any sense. Anyways. The whole top row is in reverse, which is interesting. Um, so it's this, definitely some negative energies up there, and the the bottom row has to do with this this idea of perfection, right? Um, a very, of course, you have the perfection card for one, um, um, but a very a very rigid, structured, right? Idea of of balance, of perfection, of of what ought to be. Um, and not not a lot of um, flexibility in that, right? And then and then so our, for our top section on all this this kind of like negative emotion, I'm I'm feeling like it's they're asking you to really embrace um, some of your negative sides, right? Um, to to be a, to be able to kind of integrate those, you have to be accepting of them. Um, and willing to look at them and, and acknowledge them, but also not just despise them kind of deal. Um, it's, it's definitely a carryover energy from last month, I think. Um, and it, and it's, it's very much about kind of getting serious about um, self-love, right? And, self, and seeing self-love um, self as, as embracing your negative aspects and... and um, maybe not embracing them as in just like justifying them, you know, like, yeah, I'm a piece of shit, but that's who I am. <laughs> but, but, um, trying to, trying to see maybe, um, the positive side of them or, or trying to see how, um, how they, how they have, how those, those sort of negative aspects of yourself have some things in common with, the positive aspects of yourself, if that makes any sense. So I feel like a lot of the times our more more um, negative traits are um, just the the of course the negative um, expression of some of our more positive traits. 
Um, so maybe think about things in terms of that um, and try to think about think about um, where your strengths are. And yes, there are some like negative flip sides to those, um, but but how do those relate? And and um, how can you <clears throat> how can you sort of learn to to appreciate um, some of those overarching themes about yourself, if that makes any sense? So let's see. Um, how can I explain that better? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it without giving like a personal anecdote about myself and I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you have a, you have a certain, a certain trait, say you're someone who's very, you know, expressive or something like that. It's going to have, it's going to have positive aspects to it and negative aspects to it. Um, and it, and I'm seeing it that what you may be doing um, is is sort of isolating those things and just seeing seeing your negative aspects, but failing to see where they stem from or where the kind of root of that is and and where that may be a positive thing, right? And it's not not that you can't change those things or or improve yourself, but that that at this point it seems like that's not really what's going on. It's just you're just putting pressure on yourself and and stressing yourself out, right? For no not really any reason because you're focused on your insecurities and focused on them as insecurities, right? Um, to kind of bring, bring yourself out of that a little bit, you just gotta, <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's obviously not a super easy thing to, to do is just like repair some low self-esteem like that. But, um, I think if you, if you kind of make that a focus, right, make that a priority, realize that, that it's, a necessity and that it's okay and that it's a good thing for you to feel good about yourself, right? Um, overall, at least. Maybe not all the individual things, but that too is fine, right? We don't, not all of us like every every bit of ourselves and we probably shouldn't. Um, it's just kind of the way it is. Um, so yeah, looking at looking at some of your strengths and, and um, not being quite so hard on yourself. What's the point, really? You know what I mean? It's only going to make things worse. Only going to make those kind of negative negative things come out more, really, if you push them down and and um, get all in your head about them and stressed out about them. Um, you're not going to be able to function as well, anyways. So, yeah, try to try to kind of release that this idea of perfection and self perfection and stuff. It's not real, you know, in, in some aspects, in some ways it is, but it's not, overall, it's not really real, um, seeing too much of a, a focus on that, on this, on this idea of that you have to be perfect, which doesn't make any sense, and, and I feel like if, you know, people think that about themselves, but no one would ever say that to, to say, you know, maybe to another person, maybe, but like to a child or something, like you would never say that, like expect yourself to be perfect, no, not gonna happen, okay. <laughs> um, thank you, Gemini. Uh, I'll see you later.